No, that's that's very uh, invigorating to hear for um, a lot of us uh, who currently are still based abroad. And as you would recall from your times in Dubai or in uh, London, that a lot of times when Pakistanis get together abroad, um, you know, the gathering, uh, somehow the conversation goes towards, you know, how can we go back? How can we contribute? And I think um, a credit to the cur current um, uh, government in the country where after a long time, we sort of feel like we've got a voice on the table. We've, you know, we're, we're heard and the government's doing things to facilitate our involvement um, in the country in terms of, you know, uh, bringing in it's simple steps like, you know, this recent initiative with the, um, the, the federal government's initiative around the Russian Pakistan account that, you know, you can, while sitting abroad um, with, you know, literally an online uh, workflow open uh, accounts back home and uh, start sending um, uh, money back. And I mean, small things like that, you know, they, they show that that uh, desire on part of the government to, you know, make us feel heard, heard and involved in um, taking the country uh, forward. Um, I think on, on, on that note, now sort of zooming in a bit into your sort of provincial um, canvas, I, I recently read that your government's uh, public satisfaction um, sort of, you know, survey ratings were amongst the provinces, the highest you got a 60%, a 61% rating versus, you know, 48 and 39% for a couple of other uh, key provinces in the, in the country. Now, what for you has, you know, been the sort of the, the magic sauce uh, in KP, um, you know, what's been your most sort of fulfilling achievement so far um, with the provincial uh, leadership hat uh, on? So if we take COVID as an example, uh, because the ratings that you're referring to uh, recently were published in the context of COVID. Yeah. I think the magic sauce is uh, transparency and integrity. Um, you know, there have been a large number of times where the pressure has been there to try and package or market stuff. When COVID hit Pakistan in the initial month and a half, two months, um, KD was showing a higher number of deaths than other provinces. And we are in for a lot of criticism and we felt that um, it was partly down to the fact that we were um, actually reporting to a different standard. And of course, there's a little bit of pressure to say, should we be reporting the same way if we believe that not everyone is reporting equally? And we actually withstood that pressure, right? And then yeah. as, say, the data got better, you know, the one thing that we haven't done is, because other provinces did this, um, is to say, look, our data is better. Every time someone's flashed a slide saying the deaths in KP are lower now, why don't you say it? You know, you, on, on, on some things you don't want to tempt fate or market what you have or haven't done. We've worked very hard during COVID. We've worked hard to educate the public. We've worked hard within limited capacity uh, to build uh, the capacity to deal with this. We've worked hard to explain every time um, a question has been asked or to fix every time we, fi we feel we've made a mistake. We've tried to deal with it. Uh, we use the private sector to test. We um, built our testing capacity. We put in place a rapid response team infrastructure that was driven by technology and a single call center in the province. But we didn't try and over market uh, because the, the, the whole idea here was there's a crisis going on. We're not competing with other provinces. Uh, we're not trying to show ourselves to be good. We're trying to respond to a crisis. And I believe that what has paid off in the satisfaction ratings, and I'm not just talking of myself, I think this actually starts with the dignified way in which the uh, chief minister has presented or led our response, right? You will not have seen through this crisis, Khyber Pukhtunkhwa trying to blow its trumpet 
on what it has or hasn't done well. 